Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise with D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel where I share everything related to Operation Christmas Child. And that includes unboxing shoeboxes for Operation Christmas Child, sharing ideas, clearance shopping, crafting, anything I can think of that I think will help you in your journey of packing shoeboxes for Operation Christmas Child. If this is something you think you would like, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have a new video that pops up. Also, if you're not familiar with Operation Christmas Child, be sure to check out the description below that gives you a link directly to their website. So today is my first unboxing for 2023, and I have packed quite a few boxes, but this is the first one that I'm sharing with you. And this happens to be a collaboration with my friend Jeannie from Batman's Boxes. So if you're here first, be sure to go check out her unboxing um, after you watch this one. And the collaboration is just when two friends or YouTubers pick a theme and then we each do an unboxing. And it's just kind of fun to see the different takes on the theme and different ideas that can come out of it. So today's theme is Thomas the Train and I'm calling this one All Aboard for Jesus. So I'm using a standard Operation Christmas Child cardboard shoebox that you can order directly from Operation Christmas Child. And I have a label on it at this end of the box. These labels are also ordered from Operation Christmas Child and they are free. And I've marked it boy two to four. This box is pretty full. I, I'm trying not to overstuff my boxes, but you'll see why this one is so full. So I've used two of these 107 rubber bands, and you can get these from Amazon. Uh, Walmart.com has them also, but I prefer the ones from Amazon. So when this little boy opens his box on the lid, there is the uh, stickers of a train that I got from Dollar Tree. And the letters say, all aboard for Jesus. And then right on top, he will see a big train stuffy. So that's what took up most of the room in this shoe box. So let's take this one out. He's so cute. He's from Cole's Cares program. He was on clearance for $2.50 and I could not resist him, even though he was very hard to pack but he's really cute, cuddly, and I think this little boy will love him. In the back of the box, you'll see that I have some items folded over. So let's pull those out. I have a blank, uh, just like blank pages book that he can doodle in or use it to put his stickers. I got that one from Target. This is a book called Mighty Express Palooza. It's a sticker and activity book that includes 45 stickers. It's a really nice quality book. And I got this one from bookoutlet.com. That was shared on uh, More Than a Shoebox K. She purchased some things from this website, so I gave them a try this summer. I love the quality of the merchandise, but some of the prices are a little bit high for me, but I do love everything that I got. So um, that's called bookoutlet.com. The next item is Thomas and Friends Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book. And I got this, I think, from the Dollar Tree. So that's a nice coloring book for this theme. He has a little cup from Ikea stuffed with some goodies. This is just a blue cup. These are really nice quality from Ikea. I love those. I uh, also packed him a fork, a spoon, and a butter knife. These are all permitted to send and are very useful for a shoebox. Okay, tucked inside that cup were these little characters. They're like little train engineers for, um, it's called Mighty Express. So there's a little girl, a little boy, another little boy for him to play with. And then I have all these little trains that I got uh, on clearance, 90% off from Big Lots after Christmas. It was like an advent calendar and every little opening had a new train in it. So these are really fun and very cute. So he has, I guess, five of those unless I find any more tucked in here. 
I've given him a train whistle and I got this from Hobby Lobby on clearance and then he has an actual wooden train there's the engine and this is the coal tender and that they connect magnetically and I got these from a discount store called Ollie's that I have in my area I think there were actually nine train pieces and I broke it up so that was one for him to play with he has some jumbo crayons from Walmart for his coloring this is the um, it's like the train stop if I can find the little piece that goes with it this was part of the mighty express engineers so this just goes on like this and the train can run on the track and it's like a stop railroad stop He has a little hygiene bag. I get these bags on Amazon and I have a comb. I have some of these Thomas and Friends band-aids inside that I got from Dollar Tree. Some nail files, nail clippers, and a very soft washcloth. He has a dual hold pencil sharpener I got from Dollar General. And a nice package of school supplies. Oh, see there's another little train that popped out nice package of school supplies I get these pencil cases on Amazon and I have a little tag that says God is love that I got from Hobby Lobby in this pencil case he has pencils Ticonderoga and novelty some sharpened two erasers and a nice click pen for him so those are his school supplies he has one pair of underwear those are size 5t wonder nation from Walmart his toothbrush is a Thomas toothbrush that I got from Dollar Tree with a little lenticular toothbrush cover. I've given him a little pair of gray and blue checked socks to go with his outfit. And his outfit is a cute little pair of drawstring soft shorts that I got from Kohl's for 68 cents on clearance recently and it's a jumping beans brand and this is a size four so those are his shorts and then he has a nice little shirt I got this a while ago from Old Navy it's a size 4T and it says full steam ahead long sleeve and it has a train on the front so I thought that was cute for him and these are really soft and they do pack easily in a shoebox he also has some jumbo Ticonderoga pencils. Let's see, let's set that there. I've given him a little cross. I get these from Oriental Trading and they just came back. They've been out of stock for a long time and they just came back in for Easter. So if you want these, they're listed under pastel crosses in Orient on Oriental Trading. I did include the packaging for the Mighty Express figures and little train stop for him. He has a composition book, half composition book. I got these from Walmart last summer and I put a little Thomas the Train sticker on the front. He has some reward stickers for Thomas the Train. This is a really nice size book of stickers that I think he'll love and I got this from my thrift shop. Uh, came with a whole Thomas the um, train uh, tin, but I couldn't fit the tin in the box and several other stickers and I think the whole box was a dollar. So that was a nice find. You can find some good things at your thrift shops that are new. This is just a card I got from Dollar Tree and I covered up the birthday part with some of the Thomas stickers and then I wrote our note on the inside. It opens up like a train. So I thought that was cute. And Dollar Tree has cards two for a dollar that I can find. This is just our family photo that I include with it. I have a little golden book and it's called Tale of the Brave. And I got that for 70 cents from my thrift store and it is also brand new. And the pages, well you know what little golden books are like, right? There's a lot of wording but the pages are really cute 
And these are great for this age range, two to four. All right, he has a little, um, like a muslin bag that I got from Amazon. And I've given him an iron-on patch that's a train. And he can use this to put all of his toys and trains in to keep track of all of his things. He has a pair of scissors. And then finally on the bottom, this was the packaging for the advent calendar that the trains came in. And you can see the little boy here playing. So what I did is I took the packaging and I cut it up so it would fit in a standard size shoebox and laminated it and so that it can open and shut and fold. So he has a whole train track playmat to put his trains on. Let's see if I can make a little bit of room so he can run all of his trains on the track. So that completes my first unboxing for 2023. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to check out Jeannie at Batman's Boxes to see her unboxing also. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm looking forward to 2023 and sharing my shoebox journey with you. Um, and some of the changes I might be making a little bit this year in some of my boxes, or at least I hope to try to make. And we'll get into that a little bit later. But thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to leave a comment below. Share your thoughts and ideas. I love to read them. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. So thanks again. God bless you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.